which is a little hard to do with one hand. Because I'm going to load <clears throat> this four bottom plow up, take it out to a guy that bought it. Something to do during the coronavirus. And I just told him, as long as you're six feet away or more, I'm not begging me for toilet paper, I'd get it delivered today. I'm going to show you guys, if you guys don't know how to load a plow, how to load a plow. This is so simple and took me forever to find out. All right, when you're loading a plow, you got, you got your main beam that holds all your mold boards, and when they're semi-mount, you got your semi-mount. And no matter which way you load this, or chain it up, I should say, it always tends to twist, right? So what I'm gonna do is show you how to load one of these, and it ain't gonna twist at all on us. What you wanna do is you wanna come off of this beam right here, near your tail wheel, and you wanna come off of this front semi-mount somewhere around here, in this area. Because what that does is that puts all your weight evenly. That's how they're built, okay? What we're gonna do is we're gonna on one or both parts, we're gonna take the chain around the beam like this and, and wrap it one time, but come up the other side with the chain. I'll show you here. Chained up. And if you notice the leg support, whenever they have a leg support that ain't broken off, that's why they put the support there, because the tail wheel and the support it. So go right off the leg support if you can or near the semi mount, like I said. And uh, the chain goes through, down, and it comes back over itself, almost like a knot. That way it can't slip out of there, okay? So what we're trying to do is keep this plow from going like this because the weights still aren't even. It's a little sketchier back here, but you get the picture. Just basically cross it over. I'll show you how it lifts. See how I got it? Now nothing's gonna make this tilt anymore. Safely. That way a guy can, you know, be working around it. You ain't gotta worry about it slipping. Now if I was pulled a little bit more over and that chain was just a here over, it'd be more level. But that doesn't really matter. So let's go load her on a trailer.
much it. So what I do on every plow, whether it be a two to six bottom plow, I do the same thing. I have a chain in the back, a chain in the front. I always make sure all my plow shears are level and then I wrap. That way, even if that, that uh, support leg would break, it can't shift. If I took that leg out, it wouldn't shift. I've hauled them without the leg with no support, they won't shift. I always throw a safety chain strap or two in the middle just to keep down pressure on the plow it's just extra safety and for the police you kind of want to just make sure everything's nice and neat on a driver's side and you shouldn't have no problems so thanks for watching this is how we load and i might be able to show you the unload which is the same process just backwards of strapping down a four bottom plow safely